they came face to face with the most hideous acts a human being can commit. Sometimes we meet people that don't even seem real. Human sacrificial slay. People that seem to have been birthed straight from a movie screen. Such is the case with Adolfo de Jesus Constanzo. Nicknamed the Godfather of Matamoros, Adolfo was a sorcerer's apprentice as a teen in the 1970s and 80s. He practiced Palo Mayombe, a religion that Congolese slaves brought to Cuba in the 18th and 19th centuries, which spread to surrounding countries and eventually the United States. One of the staples of this religion is ritual animal sacrifice. Constanzo's mother believed that he had special psychic abilities after he allegedly foretold Ronald Reagan's assassination attempt in 1981. Eventually, he moved to Mexico City, where he ran a business casting good luck spells to those that would pay. Patrons tended to be rich drug dealers and hitmen who enjoyed the slaughter of chickens, goats, snakes, zebras, and even lion cubs. Through this practice, he made friends with people in high places, eventually being introduced to the city's most dangerous drug cartels by high-ranking corrupt cops. Around this time, Adolfo began to experiment with his rituals. He began raiding great graveyards for bones to put into his cauldron. Soon after, he stopped sacrificing animals altogether, preferring rather to sacrifice humans instead. He began to believe that his magical powers were responsible for the success of local cartels and demanded to be cut in as a full business partner with the Calzadas, one of the most powerful families in the city. His demands were refused and soon afterwards, seven Calzada family members disappeared. Their bodies showed up eventually, missing fingers, toes, brains, and in one case, a spine. Constanzo continued killing when he moved to the desert, where he commit ritual murders on strangers and rival drug dealers. On March 13, 1989, he abducted Mark Kilroy, a pre-med student on spring break. We kind of got separated and Billy kind of left Mark behind. We all came back to look for Mark and he was missing. And really seen him since. He murders him with a chop to the back of his neck with a machete when he tries to escape. Kilroy, being an American, draws the attention of American authorities and media. Texan prosecutors put immense pressure on the Mexican government to solve the crime. When the police raid Constanzo's ranch, they find his cauldron filled with a dead black cat and a human brain. Eventually, they dig up Kilroy's body along with 14 other mutilated corpses. As he is surrounded by police, Constanzo orders a henchman to kill him, knowing there is no escape. In the end, Adolfo is responsible for 20 mutilated victims in and around Mexico City.